everyone. Uh, for my 18th birthday, my parents uh, bought me uh, a beautiful little bag. I was happy, I wore it uh, every day, took it everywhere. But today, my beautiful little bag has become completely yellow. Today, it's in the closet, and I never dare to change it uh, since that day. But how can a handbag brand prevent such disappointments? Oh. This is why Lisa and myself, Dimitri, uh, choose the Hermes project on the characterization of the yellowing of uh, lizards. Hermes is a French family business and one of the world leaders in the luxury industry. Uh, while it produces uh, many other goods like scarves or perfumery, uh, it's really the leather items which uh, boosted its prestige. Um, in collaboration with um, the University uh, of Lyon Manuté Slé, uh, the laboratory of the Institut d'Optique uh, and Hermès, we try to answer the following question. Uh, how does the apparent color of leather change over time? Uh, so to solve this problem, um, we worked in three steps. The first one was the optical study of uh, samples which were directly sent by Hermès. The second uh, step was finding a theoretical model which allows us um, to, in the third step, predict uh, how any uh, piece of leather will uh, evolve. Uh, okay. uh, first of all, uh, we were sent uh, Hermes laser samples which had been uh, artificially uh, aged. For each laser, we had uh, three samples corresponding to different uh, uh, aging phases, so zero, one, or three aging uh, cycles. And for each sample, uh, we measured the spectral reflectance using the MetaView uh, spectrophotometer that you can see uh, on the picture. And uh, we made several measurements on different areas to check uh, the homogeneity uh, of the lasers. And after we made uh, all these uh, optical measurements, we started, uh, we started thinking about uh, a theoretical uh, model uh, matching our uh, observations best. And we finally uh, chose uh, an analytical uh, model uh, describing all light travels uh, in the following structure, a layer of a uh, leader uh, covered uh, with a layer of um, yellow pigment. Um, the thickness of the ye yellow leather varies over time as the leather gets uh, more yellowish. Um, so the reflectance after three uh, aging cycle is given by this formula. Um, in this formula, uh, the RS, RI, T in and T out are known values which depend uh, on the fabric and also uh, on which direct on um, with which direction uh, the light enters and exits um, all these um, complex. Um, and the measurements of uh, our samples with the um, leather which had been into no aging cycle, so when it's not yellow at all, allowed us to find uh, what, uh, what the row uh, was. Then the measurements on the samples which went into one uh, aging cycle, so when it's just a bit yellow, allowed us to get the value of T. And finally, um, the only thing left for us to uh, find was the gamma. And for that, we use uh, the samples where the leather got really yellow. And, um, and so what we did is we plotted our, um, our measurements, which are in blue. And we made, we made a gamma vary, as you can see here, until we got the right um, uh, graph matching our measurements. Um, so this also allowed us to check that our theoretical model worked really, really well, because as you can see, uh, the prediction and the measurements really fit well. And so to summarize, how does the apparent color of Hermes laser change over time? So firstly, we measured the spectral reflectance of uh, each uh, laser sample. 
then we compared it to uh, an analytical model and we looked for the gamma uh, to recover the measured uh, reflectance. So we can predict the evolution of yellowing of uh, each laser. And it uh, should be noted um, for each laser, the gamma value is different. And uh, therefore, the, the evolution of uh, yellowing is different for each laser. Thank you for your attention.